I'm going to be teaching you the secrets when it comes to how can your beautiful, gorgeous, delicious, well-deserving self can attract that man of your dreams so that it's much easier for you when you're dating using the science of attraction because ladies i promise you when you understand that love is a science our bodies are biochemically designed and built for a bonding and attraction when you understand how to trigger that and use it to your advantage then it changes the whole dating game it starts to be fun it starts to be empowering and it puts you in the driver's seat welcome I see some of you guys coming. For those of you who are brand new, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Shay, your love diva. I am a master certified love strategist. I've been voted one of the top five love coaches in the entire world. And the truth is, is that I'm the best in the world at helping women to heal what's blocking them from love and attract their romantic best friend. So let's get into it, ladies. Tell me how many of you have met a Build-A-Bear? Like literally within the last... 30 days. And when I say build a bear, I mean a man who doesn't know how to treat you, who doesn't respect you, a man who isn't in his masculine energy, who you try to build up to be that man that you want him to be, but he absolutely refuses. How many of you guys have met and maybe even entertained a build a bear recently? Where are you? How many of you say I? How many of you have ever? met a Build-A-Bear, you've ever met that man, you know he never had any intentions for moving forward with you or being committed to you or treating you right, but he simply played games, he simply lied. No matter how good he presented himself in the beginning, he ended up being a hot mess in the end. How many of you guys have, in have encountered that kind of man? The bad news is, ladies, unfortunately, there's a lot of Build-A-Bears out there, okay? There's a lot of builder bears. I would even go so far to say that there are more builder bears now than the days in the age of your mama and your daddy, your grandpappy and your grandmammy. What does that mean? That means that you have to date with wisdom. You have to date with intention because if not, then you're gonna get caught up in the landmine of all of the builder bears that are out there who are selfish, who are toxic, who are energy vampires, who have no good intentions for you. How do you know when you're playing the game and you're actually winning the dating game? Because ladies, regardless of whether you like it or not, this is a dating game. You know you're winning in the dating game when you are intentional and so aligned with your soulmate, you are with him before he has arrived. And you start to see the evidence of that because you have more options than you can count who are all seeking to move into a committed relationship and your options are high quality. When you are already with, you can already feel your soulmate <laughs> before he has arrived. You are already with him. Now, I know I'm getting spiritual, but follow me for a second. You are already so in tuned and aligned with your soulmate. You know he is there in alignment. And because of that, that energetic alignment causes you to attract top tier men for you to have multiple options to choose the best option that aligns with you. That's when you know you know. Consistently, you are attracting top tier men over and over and over again. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to wonder. It's over like clockwork. You can replicate it. And science, if you can replicate a theory, then it moves from being a hypothesis, okay? Once you can replicate it. And it's the same thing when it comes to your love life. When you understand the formula, when you understand the rules of dating, then that puts you in the power seat. But here's the thing. Everybody only wants the sexy advice, okay? Everybody wants the sexy advice. Now, I can give you either one that you want. I can give you the sexy advice that everybody wants to hear, which is the science of attraction and how to make a man so turned on by you, want you so bad that he literally would be on his knees begging to be with you. Or I can teach you how to attract the most healthy, 
wholesome relationship with a man that you adore as well, who loves your soul, a man who adds value, a man who you can build a family and an empire with, a man whom you can live and enjoy the soft life with, okay? A man who's effed up, fun, faithful, and wants forever to love your soul. Which one do you want, okay? Because I'm all about giving the people what they want, okay? All about giving. Which one do you want, A or B? You want the sexy, easy advice where you just learn how to attract men, any man? Or do you want the second one where you learn how to attract quality men who will love your soul? I have been doing this for 20 years. I have been helping women for over 20 years to be able to heal what's blocking them from love and attract their romantic best friend. I've helped over 180,000 women to be able to heal their love blocks and up level their love life and if you don't believe in man just google me okay don't listen to me just google me go to my podcast love on command you can look and see all the different testimonials of the ladies that changed their life and i'm getting ready to tell you what were the techniques that i use and that they use to be able to attract quality relationships and start to win when it came to the dating game when it came to the game of life and love because it requires intention. The first thing that you gotta understand is that love is a science, okay? Men and women operate differently. If you want a man, you gotta be clear what kind of man that you want. That's the first thing. You gotta be clear, put clear in the chat since you guys gave me permission to coach you then I'm coaching you so that we're now rewiring your subconscious mind because the issue isn't that you're not smart. The issue isn't that you don't know any better. The issue is that your subconscious mind has been trained and programmed for you to operate against what's for your highest good and benefit. That's why. Based on your own childhood traumas, okay? Based on your own love blocks and your own experiences that are in your subconscious mind. And in order for you to undo that, you have to rewire and reprogram your subconscious mind to learn better. So when you type and you're thinking, now it's getting lodged in to the reticular activating system. And now your brain knows to start looking for the positive, looking for what's going to be healthy for you and what's going to work for you. So the first thing you have to get clear, you need to know what kind of man do you want? Now, when I was doing my dating experiment where I went on 100 dates in a little over three months and I interviewed over 4,000 men, women, and couples, I read hundreds of books on love, dating, and relationships, the anthropology of attraction. Like I was studying periodical journals. I was deep in it, okay? But, but that stuff, I love that stuff, okay? Like I said, I'm a science girl. But one thing that I found throughout all my studies and all my experiences is that really it comes down to two type of men. Either you're going to attract the feminized man who's highly in his feminine energy, okay? Which means he is in his unhealed masculine energy. His masculine energy to be balanced is 70% masculine. 30% feminine when you're dealing with a balanced, healed, masculine man. Okay, because everything in the universe vibrates to a frequency. If he is unhealed, if he's out of balance, then his feminine energy is going to be higher. And if his feminine energy is higher, then you're going to have a different experience. Okay, if your feminine energy is out of balance, because for a woman, for her feminine energy to be in balance based on nature, then that means that you're 70% in your feminine energy, 30% in your masculine energy. So you know how to tap into that masculine energy when it's necessary, but the core of you in operating is in your feminine energy. So then now you have polarity. You can attract the man who's now with that equal balance. If you're out of balance, he's gonna be out of balance. So first thing you gotta be clear, which one do you want? Do you want the Walmart man? Do you want Goodwill, ma'am? Aldi's, okay? Or do you want Saks Fifth? Do you want Chanel, ma'am? Do you want Bentley? Or do you want Jalopy? You just, you gotta decide what kind of man that you want. Because getting the broke down Jalopy man, getting the Walmart man, getting the man that's from Aldi's, ma'am, that's not hard, 
okay? Anybody can get that. So when you hear women online that says, well, I slept with my husband on the first night, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, guess what? It's not hard to get a Walmart bag. Getting a Walmart bag, ma'am, doesn't require much effort. You can literally walk into the store, buy nothing, grab the bag, and walk out, okay? Nobody's checking and wearing a Walmart bag proudly. All right, so you're saying nothing. However, to be able to get a Chanel bag or a Birkin or something of quality, you got to know what you're doing and you have to step correctly. So what are the steps that I have discovered over my two decades of helping thousands of women and of, for doing this for so long and studying this for so long that sets a woman up so that she's able to have a high tier love experience and relationship. What is the formula? And ladies, as you start to learn this formula, you can start to look around you. You can look at your friends, you can look at your family, you can even look at celebrities and you can tell where they're stuck at. You can tell how they haven't understood this framework. They haven't understood what these steps are. And this is the reason why you see a lot of your favorite celebrities attract the same raggedy meaty back, build a bear, ragamuffin, over and over and over and over again. You can know better intellectually, but if your subconscious mind is trained that the normal is the raggedy low quality build a bear, the Walmart man, you will keep gravitating to that every single time. So what do you do? I combine the science of attraction with the law, laws of attraction. Okay, that means I'm, we're talking about quantum leaping. We're talking about manifesting on a whole different level that is backed by science. And we're talking about what does it really take in order to live life more abundantly, which was the promise, which is the way each and every one of you was designed to be able to live life. You wasn't designed to be having to hustle and bustle and work so hard and do everything all yourself. You wasn't even designed to be sitting here struggling when it comes to dating. Okay, that's not what you were designed. You are a woman. You are a woman who, in your feminine energy, feminine energy needs to be fed, needs to be poured into. So when you are operating out of balance, it drains you. It makes you feel tired. You can't be at your peak performance. So how do you get there where you can sit safely in your feminine energy, you have money coming to you, opportunities coming to you, high quality men coming to you, happiness, joy, peace, trips around the world, the man of your dreams and everything else coming to you. I'm getting ready to tell you the secret. I promise you, you never heard it anywhere else, okay? Now this part is not sexy, I'ma warn you, okay? But this isn't, this isn't sexy, but it's, but it's needed. If you have been trying for more than three months. It has been more than three months since you have consistently attracted healthy, quality men over and over again. Then that means that, ma'am, you have love blocks. In order for you to be able to attract that high value man, and what is a high value man? A high value man understands his role as a man. He doesn't even have to force himself to do it. He wants to be that kind of man. Men, according to Luann Brizendine, were born with what's called a hunter gene. It is in their brain. Men's brains have been analyzed and shown to be very different from women's brains, just like the structure of our bodies are different, the way we are biochemically built are different. So for a man who's in his healthy masculine energy, he will gladly pursue you, pour into you and do what it takes in order to earn you. But in order for you to be able to attract that man, it is important for you to understand that you have to heal what has been blocking you from attracting that kind of man. And what a love block is, is any thought, behaviors, or belief systems and even energetic blocks that are blocking you from love.